I'm going to give you an overview of what a virtual private network is, how to set it up in your Netgear Orbi, and also how to access it using your Mac, Windows, and mobile devices. Hey, this is Paul, the Friendly Reviewer. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe so you can see more just like it, and check out the description below for any updates since I posted it or links that I talk about in the video. Now, virtual private network, what is that? Let's get into it. Virtual private networks, or VPNs, are commonly used by businesses, but they can also be used for homes as well. When you VPN into your home network, it will make it as if you're virtually on your home's network. This can be useful if you want to access certain devices, such as printers or shared drives. Another use is to browse the internet through your home network if you are somewhere where the internet access is restricted. To set up OpenVPN on the Netgear Orbi, you first need to log in by going to orbilogin.net. Use admin as the username and enter the password you used when you set up the system. Go to the Advanced tab. Under the Advanced Setup section, select VPN Service. You will need to make sure that you either have set up a static IP address or dynamic DNS. I'll provide a link in the description below on my tutorial on how to set up the dynamic DNS on the Netgear Orbi. Check the box to enable VPN service. You can customize the tunnels and the advanced configuration section if you'd like. In general, UDP is the fastest and best for streaming, and TCP is more reliable since it provides handshaking to verify messages have been received properly. In general, it's best to use UDP unless you have a connection problem. You can also select if you want to allow access to the internet through the VPN service. Once you are happy with your settings, click Apply to enable OpenVPN on your router. Next, you need to set up the clients. What this means is you need to set up your computer or mobile devices so that they can use the VPN service to access your home network from the outside. Click the button next to the corresponding device that you want to set up to download the configuration package. Next, you will need to download an OpenVPN client for your particular device. I will now walk you through the Mac OS X, Windows, and iOS mobile device setups. For Mac computers using OS X, I use Tunnelbrick. You can download the latest stable version from tunnelbrick.net. You'll need administrative privileges to install the software. After installation, simply drag the client.conf file to the configuration selection. To test it, I connected my MacBook Pro to the outside internet through a hotspot I set up on my phone. Then I printed a test page on my wireless printer. It worked. For Windows, go to the Community Downloads section and download the latest stable version of the VPN client from openvpn.net. Download the Windows installer by clicking on the install.exe file. Locate the file and double click it to begin the installation process. Installing the default components should be sufficient for most users. During the installation, you'll be prompted to provide permission to install the TAP Windows Network Adapter. Click Install to allow it to occur. This is normal. From the Orbi VPN Setup menu, download the Windows Configuration Package. You will need to unzip the Configuration Package and copy the files to the config folder where the VPN client was installed. Next, go to the control panel, Network and Internet, and then Network Connections. Select and rename the local area connection with Tap Windows Adapter to Netgear-VPN, as shown. Now it should be ready to go. Run OpenVPN by clicking on the icon. You probably won't notice anything happened. Go to the lower right-hand corner and find it minimized in the toolbar. Double-click it to open it. If all is working, you should see a green screen with a lock on it in the upper left-hand corner of the application. If not, it will be yellow while trying to connect. For mobile devices or tablets, download and install the OpenVPN Connect app on the device you want to use. From the Orbi VPN Setup menu, download the Smartphone Configuration Package. Copy the configuration package to the device. For the iPhone, I would suggest connecting your device to the computer to transfer the file via iTunes. In iTunes, select the device 
and then go to the apps section. Go all the way down to the bottom and select OpenVPN Connect and drag the OpenVPN configuration file in to transfer it to the device. Open up the OpenVPN Connect app on your phone and verify the configuration was accepted. Slide the switch under Disconnected to connect to the VPN. If all works, you should see the status as Connected and you should also see a VPN symbol in the status bar at the top of your screen in one of two places. Unfortunately, I don't have any Android devices, but the setup is very similar to the iOS device setup. Now, I have three warnings for you before I end. Number one, if you go and change any of those custom settings in the router for the VPN and hit apply, you're going to have to re-download the configuration package file for all your devices. Number two, stay on top of the latest version of software for the VPN clients and all your devices. Make sure that you're on top of all the, any security issues or anything that they've patched or made updates to. And number three, never give out your configuration package file to anyone because it could give them access to your home network. So this has been Paul, the friendly reviewer for how to set up OpenVPN on the Netgear Orbi. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe so you can see more just like it. Thank you for watching.